shifting garbage and changing emotions. As shock and trauma ease, anger is taking over in Mithotamula. We spoke to those sheltering in a temporary welfare center. This is not a natural disaster. That's what we are saying. This is a murder. Nuan Bopage has campaigned against dumping here since 2011, ending up in hospital after being assaulted during one heated demonstration. A tragedy like this, he says, is what everyone feared. Roy Silva agrees. His family built this house on government awarded land more than 40 years ago. They put the garbage and asked us to go and say, you are in the garbage area and you should go down. We have it's a disaster area, you should go now. Is that the correct way of asking? We are asking for the peace and order in this country. Silva says what started as a small scale landfill for waste in the area became a rubbish mountain when more than 800 tons of garbage was dumped daily. Survivors of the Mithotamula disaster, many of them housed in this school nearby, are weary. Having lost everything, they are demanding long-term solutions. They don't want to move to temporary housing where they will have to live for years. Local authorities are trying to sort out ownership, occupation and other details in order to decide compensation and other issues. When the lists are prepared, the government will decide about the people, their future and where they will be housed. We will then work towards implementing those decisions. The government will have to work hard to win back the trust of people still traumatized by the tragedy. Mina Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.